What's up, my name is Siege. Welcome to my popping training series. Before we get started, I wanna make sure you know what to expect from this video. Number one, this video is designed specifically for poppers who want power in their arms. Number two, expect your muscles to be sore. If you do feel the soreness, that means you're doing it right. If you're not feeling soreness, maybe you should try a little bit harder. The duration of each drill varies from drills to drills, so use a time bar to monitor your progression. Number three, make this a daily ritual. Only by consistently training and working out your arms will you get the results you want. Have fun with it, challenge yourself. Number four, all right, do not quit. Make a commitment to yourself that when you start the video, you're gonna go all the way from the start to finish. Finish the video all the way through. Finish the workout, finish the training all the way through. No matter how sore you think you get, you're gonna finish. Commit to yourself right from the beginning because in the middle of the video, I see so many students, so many beginners, they quit in the middle because there's nobody uh, giving you accountability. There's nobody checking you. I'm not there to check you. Nobody's there to check you, only you. So I want you to commit to yourself. Do not be a quitter. See it all the way through and you're gonna get the power and you're gonna get the pop that you want. All right guys, enough talking. Let's get ready to pop. As you can see from the info on the right side of the screen, set number one is set to 90 beats per minute. This drill was inspired by Skeeter Rabbit and Poppin' Pete. I remember they said most dancers don't pop with their arms above the shoulder. And this drill really trains you to get the power up with your arms above your shoulder. So the rotation, we're going first from outside in and now inside out. Watch for the info on the right side. So currently we're popping on every beat. Boom, boom, boom. Coming up every other beat. Pop, 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 pop. Be really aware of the angle where you should be. Every eight count, we pretty much go half a rotation. So again, we're switching from outside in, now it's the inside out. Keep it up guys. If your arm is not sore yet, it should get sore pretty soon. I remember doing this drill with my students and we would probably do about five to 10 minutes as warm up. It really gets your arms not just sore, but it gives it that power. Most poppers, as Skeeter Rabbit and Pop Pete would say, they don't find the range. They always keep their arms down. And you lose about half the range if you don't go above your shoulder. This is a great, great way to train. All right, guys, we are almost done with set number one. I don't want you to take a break. I want you to continue through. We're gonna get through set number two coming up. Right, welcome to set number two. Obviously, this is a little bit faster. We are at 135 beats per minute. I want to take the time right now to thank you for supporting the channel. For those that haven't already yet, hit that like button to help support the channel. Also, subscribe if you hadn't already. All right, just like before, we're going outside in and inside out. Remember to take a look at the information on the right. Right now, we're popping on every beat. We're switching between every beat and every other beat or every clap beat. So obviously in this set, we're popping a little bit faster at 135 beats per minute. Actually, in my opinion, popping to faster beats actually easier than popping to slower beats such as the 90 beats or even sometimes 80 beats per minute because it's hard to guess when the beat's so fast it's easier to guess to be on beat. But sometimes we need that training. So, for those that are practicing, maybe this is your third time, fourth time, 
10 times, whatever, I want you to start trying to add the power of your leg as well as probably your neck or your chest. Incorporate more parts, make your pop better. All right, congratulations. We are done with set number two. Get ready for set number three. All right, we are here, set number three, the last set of this drill. It's the exact same as the first one. Kind of relax your arms, but also focus on that power, okay? Really focus on getting that power, especially when your arms are extended out and when it's raised above your shoulder. Those are the hardest ones. When it's down, it's a little bit easier to pop. When it's high, when your arms are above your shoulder, it's harder. So really, really train that. Generate that pop. Consciously relax and consciously flex. Adding your legs, adding your neck, adding your chest. Try to get everything if you can. If not, don't worry. Come back to it and you will get it. As I talk, I want you to also notice the progress bar. We're halfway done. And notice the switch. We're switching from inside out to outside in. Switching from every clap beat to every beat. So not only are you focusing on the power, but also you're focusing on what comes next. This trains not just the rhythm, but also your mind. Keep this up. You will succeed, my friend. Your arms should be a little bit tired, but it shouldn't be that bad. This is a great drill, great training. If you don't do this every day, do this every other day. I guarantee you, your arm pop will be better and better. And if you incorporate the legs and the head, your entire popping will be more powerful and it looks snappy. That's the goal, guys. Guys, we're almost done. Congratulations. Stick around because at the end, I'm going to talk more about specific techniques. See you guys there. Okay, welcome to the breakdown. Now, for those of you who stick, stick around and want to get the, the fine details of things, this is what you're going to get out of it, all right? So, uh, first of all, this drill, I think was definitely inspired by a Skeeter Rabbit or Pop and Pete. One of these two big brothers that showed me. Anyways, the idea is to be able to pop your arms, you know, with power. A lot of us are, have good power down here with our elbows below the shoulder. And that's what you'll notice. A lot of people, if you're able to pop hard, most of the time it's because your elbow's below your shoulder. Once the elbow goes above the shoulder, a lot of the power, the generation of power goes away because a lot of times, you know, people use the, the drop, the shoulder drop. And when you get up to here, you can't do the shoulder drop. It doesn't look that good. So you have to really get it out to your arms, your forearms, you know, uh, bicep, triceps, and so forth. So to be able to do this, it takes a lot of concentration, okay? So obviously, hopefully you guys went to those drills already. Uh, and again, so what we're doing is you're going one, two, three, four. The first eight count is every two beats, right? Two, four, six, eight right here. And then going across your body, Two is 45 degrees, four, six is 45 down here, eight is here. And obviously the next one is every beat, right? So now subconsciously or consciously, you have to map out like a clock in front of you or with your arms. You have to hit all those 45 degrees. You know you gotta hit there on the one, two. Two is here, so one is in between here. So this is really, really good for training your awareness, awareness of your angles, okay? And obviously, after we go from outside in, we're gonna go from inside out, okay? So I'm not gonna bother telling you exactly what that is, but you guys know, know it, all right? So the tip is this. After you go through the first time, you're focusing on your arms, okay? Get that in. And again, you might have to do this drill, man, I wanna say at least 100 times, and it's, it might sound crazy, but I do it a lot, a lot, all right? So after that, what I want you guys to try to do is incorporate the leg, popping of the leg. So you got boom, boom. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but 
I'm switching because sometimes if I just do one leg, it gets a little bit sore. So you want to switch it off. Okay. So you pop in with the arms and legs. And again, this is for those that are comfortable with popping the arm. You're not, you're not totally focusing on the arm. Now you got, I want you to focus on the arms and the legs. And take, let's take it a little step further. Those that have the arms and the legs who want to start incorporating maybe some of the chest or neck, I want you to start popping those as well. All right. So let's just take the neck, for example. You know, I want to pop the, the neck, right? Boom, boom. You want to do that at the same time. One, two, three, okay? Do all those three at the same time. Again, it takes total focus, total concentration. Meanwhile, while you're doing this, your, your shoulders, your arms will probably be getting sore, but that's the idea, guys. Do the entire drill. Try not to stop. Again, take this as a challenge, a work challenge, all right? And comment down below. Let me know where you at with this, all right? Because some of you guys, you know, I, I want you to say, hey, you know, I just been, I just started maybe three months ago. I just started yesterday. I just I started three years ago. Whatever it is, it's all good. Share share with me. Let you let me know where you're at. How long does it take you? Because it takes everybody a little bit, you know, different different time as far as how much your your muscle is able to adapt to the to the flexing and the relaxing. Okay. So hopefully that helps, guys. Uh, if there's any questions, comments, concerns. Drop it down uh, below. I hit you guys back up as soon as I can. Hope you guys have fun. Watch out, watch out for more videos. Again, the previous videos are all up there. Make sure you guys train. Let's get better together. I'm out.